और कुछ भी नहीं किया मैंने जी सर क्लियर हो गया सर बिल्कुल सर चल ना हो ओके थैंक यू सर हाँ जी वी हैव डन दिस रासू रासू जी देर आर नो स्टेप्स यू जस्ट हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड देर इज नो स्टेपिंग स्टेप्स इन दिस सो एक सिंपल है दिस इज अ सिंपल केस स्टडी यू शुड नो दैट विच आइटम यू विल नीड फॉर विच रिस्क लाइक दीज थ्री थिंग्स आर नीडेड फॉर ऑपरेशनल दीज आर नीडेड फॉर मार्केट दीज आर नीडेड फॉर क्रेडिट दैट सॉन्ग देर इज नो स्टेप्स इन दिस थैंक यू सर Okay. Yeah. Now uh, let us start with proper understanding of Basel. Okay. all right so yesterday we started with this presentation in basel and now i want everyone to pay full attention unwavering attention koi tang kar raha hai to room lock kar lo this is the same thing that we did what comes in टायर वन वॉट कम्स इन टायर टू वॉट इज अ पार्ट इन एडिशनल टायर वन वॉट इज अपर टायर वन वॉट इज लोअर टायर अपर टायर टू वॉट इज लोअर टायर टू दिस थिंग आई रिवाइज विद यू इन मॉर्निंग ऑल्सो बिटवीन सेवन टू सेवन थर्टी देन दिस लाइट ऑल्सो यू नोटेड देन कैपिटल एडिक्वेसी रेशियो ऑल्सो वी हैव डन वी रिवाइज विद यू these risk weights we did in credit risk standardized approach these three sir ek tak le nahi thi ek tak le nahi thi wo main kar nahi paya tha kya kya bol rahe sir sir see again please jo risk weighted asset tha na uska ek photo le lena ji sir le li sir now these were the three pillars i told you to remember the names now now you read it do you know this basel 1 covered only credit and market risk basel 2 also covers operational risk that means basel 2 covered credit market operational all three yes or no yes sir and same happened with And same thing in Basel three, because Basel three is an enhancement of Basel two. So Basel three also deals with credit, market, and operational. Now see this, this thing you know already. You see, know, what is credit risk? What is credit risk? Credit risk is risk of default by borrower. what are the two approaches standardized approach internal rating based approach if you remember i have already written this here see standardized approach internal rating based approach okay then see this for market risk first is standardized duration method second is internal model approach ye dekho see this standardized duration method internal model approach is it clear and yes. for operational risk basic indicator approach the standardized approach that was beta factor and advanced measurement approach see this basic indicator standardized approach advanced measurement approach we have done all these things yes or no yes sir next then yesterday i told you the story of herstadt bank in germany which went bankrupt as a result the payment couldn't 
the transaction could not be completed. Her state bank received money from American bank, but before it could send money to American banks, it died. As a result, two American banks died. Then in year 1988, then in year 1988, in Switzerland, there was a meeting of top 10 countries, central bank governors, and they decided that we need to have some rules and regulations to make the banking safe. This committee was known as BCBS, Basel Committee on Banking Supervision. And the organization is known as BIS, Bank for International Settlements. All right, then. Then, in 1988, they identified credit risk. This was known as Basel 1. In 1996, they added market risk. This was known as Basel 1 modified. In 2004, they added operational risk also. This was known as Basel 2. But in 2008, there was the biggest financial crisis. Subprime mortgage crisis. Do you remember 2008? Yes, sir. Okay, and the person who predicted this crisis. His name was Dr. Noriel Rubini. He was, he, he, he was a professor with New York School of Business. He predicted this crisis before, may I think one, one and a half year before it ha had to happen. And he told that this is going to be a very big crisis. And after this Rubini, when all his predictions came true, he was named as Dr. Doom. And ye aaj ki news aapko dikha raho. See this. This is the Russia TV news. Dr. Doom. Yeah. Dr. Doom predicts worst crisis in half a century. Red hot inflation will lead to a global financial crash. Famed economist Noriel Rubini warns. And he said that this time also, the interest rates are increasing. They are increasing interest rates. Every month. Now, this is that during COVID, the Canadian Central Bank and American Central Bank, that is a Federal Reserve, they dropped the interest rates to 0 0.25 or even less. Home loans were available for 1.2% rate of interest. Imagine, Carlo. 1.2% rate of interest on home loans. And within six months now, from the peak, the rate of interest on home loans, variable rate, the person who booked that 1.2%, right now he has to pay 5.5%. And next month, next month after one week, Another 75 basis point increase. This will hit 6%. So you can well imagine a country like America or Canada who have never seen interest rates more than 3, 3.5% in last 20, 30 years. And they have to pay rate of interest on loans at 6%. On car loan at 8%, so much care, they kya bachega. Nothing will survive. Even after such a high rate of interest, yesterday the inflation numbers came. Even after increasing the rate of interest, the inflation is at 6.9%. 7% inflation for a country like Canada 
विच हैज नथिंग एक्सेप्ट स्नो बर्फ खा के मर जाओ यहां पे है ही कुछ नहीं अब सोचो वट विल हु विल सर्वाइव डिड यू सी द न्यूज इन इंग्लैंड वट इज हैपनिंग वाई डिड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर रिवाइव बिकॉज इकोनॉमी इज गॉन इंग्लैंड में इतना बुरा हाल हो गया है द पॉवर्टी लेवल इज सो हाई नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ देयर कॉन्फ्लिक्ट विद रशिया हाई ग्रैस प्राइसेस एक्स्ट्रा प्रिंटिंग ऑफ मनी हाई इंफ्लेशन दैट पीपल हैव टू चूज बिटवीन वेदर टू हीट देयर हाउस और बाई फूड इतना बुरा हाल है इंग्लैंड में पीपल डोंट हैव मनी टू बाय फूड people are skipping meals this is or aap ye soch lo if countries like england germany america canada inka ye haal hai you can well imagine what we are going to suffer read this article very good article okay so then when this crisis of 2008 happened okay then they realized that even these norms are not sufficient then they realized that even this basel 2 rules are not sufficient so then they increased the percentages in basel 3 so in internationally in year 2009 basel 3 was introduced with higher ratios india implemented basel 3 on april 2013 but india completed the implementation by 1st october 2021 please take a screenshot of this slide yes mr sebastian what you are saying is correct raghuram rajan also predicted this crisis sir this crisis what what the traders are anticipating that this is going to be a bigger crisis now next shall i proceed yes sir now everyone keep your pen aside ajay kumar ji jo bhi kamre mein hai use bahar nikalo aur sirf screen ki taraf dekh lo suppose now in this case what was my risky asset for let us say this is canara bank so what is the risky asset for canara bank 100 100 crores okay now ab idhar dekho now let us suppose the risky asset for canara bank is 100 crores how much capital minimum capital canara bank has to hold Nine crore. Nine crore. So minimum capital nine percent. That is nine crores. Now the capital has two rooms. What are the rooms of capital? Tier one, tier two. Tier one, tier two. Tier two. Now, what is the minimum value of tier one? 
Canara Bank has taken a risk of 100 rupees, then minimum capital is 9% of RWA. That means 9 rupees, 9 crores. Out of this 9 rupees, 7 rupees should be in from prior one quality. That means 7% of RWA. Can I say? That pair two will be maximum two percent of R W A. Why I am repeating this R W again and again so that you do not get confused. Any bloody percentage, any percentage, it will be of this R W of this risky asset. Is it clear? Yes. Now this pair one is further divided into two rooms. What are the rooms? Tell me. CET and ET. Common equity and ED. And ED. Now, common equity tire one is your best category capital, best quality capital. It should be minimum 5%, 5.5% of RWA. आप में से किसने दो आईडीज पे लॉगिन किया हुआ है यार बंद करो अपनी एक आईडी यू आर डिस्टर्बिंग द क्लास आर इस सक्की सतीश आर इस सक्की सतीश प्लीज लॉग आउट ऑफ फ्रॉम वन आईडी राइट नाउ I request you, please do not log in from two IDs. Okay. It creates disturbance in the class. Somebody from the office can remove you. And if somebody removes you, even by mistake, there is a very big problem. For four days, you will not be able to join the class. problem Last time, there was there were two people. They were not renaming themselves. We message them constantly, please identify yourself. They couldn't do it. Once the office person went on and he removed them. Achha, he removed them, Zoom blocked them. <laughs> For next four days, Zoom never let him Zoom didn't let him log in. Oh, he started fighting with me. Now I said, What else? What can I do? No, no, no. I have registered, I have done everything. It is not in my hand. So eventually we had to create a separate ID for him. Then we made him login. Usko register kiya. So please make sure don't yeah, of these small things. Okay. Up to this point, is it okay? What does this mean? This means that if you are having a risk of if you are having a risk of 100 crores, minimum capital is 9 rupees, out of which 7 rupees will be of uh, a tire 1 quality, 2 rupees maximum can be of tire 2 quality. Out of the 7, common equity tire 1 should be of 5.5 and remaining can be additional tire 1. Now this is minimum. This entire common equity can be 7. RB will be very happy. In fact, this entire 9% can be tire 1. Good quality. RB will be very, very happy. And suppose if your entire 9% is common equity tire 1, RBA will be extremely happy. But this common equity tire 1 cannot go below 5.5. Tire 1 cannot go below 7. If it happens, you will be penalized very heavily. Now, when after the subprime mortgage crisis, Basel people decided that even these are not sufficient. So they said one additional capital is required. Achha, what is the meaning of going concern and bond concern? This question comes. Going concern means, going concern means 
that if there is a big loss to the bank and tier 1 capital becomes zero the bank will still live bank will not die but if the loss is so huge that after tier 1 now tier 2 is also zero now it is a gone concern bank will die and the depositors will lose money what happened with yes bank due to these bad loans frauds the level of npa was so high that tire one also became zero and tire two also became zero as a result yes bank had to was had no option but to declare bankruptcy now if yes bank declares bankruptcy that means a scheduled commercial bank of a country like india is failing this is a matter of shame for the government of the country and governments don't let the banks die so easily so that is the reason immediately the restrictions were applied on yes bank so that people cannot withdraw money government assured people that their money is safe nothing will happen to them to the money and they bought sbi to bail out yes bank now do you understand what is going concern what is gone concern one second to repeat sir yes we are <laughs> A slight difference, sir. <laughs> Once, please, one second, sir. Tire one, if tire one capital becomes zero, bank will live, bank will not die. It remains a going concern. If tire two also becomes zero, bank will die. Is it clear? Okay, sir. So now. Basil said that this 9% capital is not sufficient. So they said we will have to increase the capital. So they added another 2.5. This is extra. This 9 is extra. This 2.5 is extra. Again, this is 2.5% of RWA. क्या रीजन होता है ये बैंक्स कोलैप्स कर जाती हैं करप्शन करप्शन सबसे बड़ा रीजन सर इधर देख लो एक बात याद रखो the most profitable business in the world most profitable business legal business I'm not talking about illegal business I'm saying the most profitable business in the world is banking there can be nothing more profitable than this. And if the still bank is failing, there are only two reasons. Either the management is incompetent, duffer hai, or they are corrupt. There cannot be any third reason. The proper audit be agar ho jai. तो भी तो सर चीजें पता चल सर मैं मैं क्या बता रहा हूं आइदर द मैनेजमेंट इज इनकॉम्पिटेंट और दे आर करप्ट एंड ऑफ द स्टोरी देयर इज नो अदर रीजन दैट द बैंक विल फेल और ये जितनी रिस्क मैनेजमेंट पढ़ रहे हो ना all this value at risk, stress testing, extreme value theory, derivatives, all this is nonsense and garbage. And these are designed by, these are theories which are designed by intelligent people to fool the public. The only risk management is that when the customer comes to take a loan from you, you check how many wives he has and how many girlfriends he has. 
वहीं से पता चल जाएगा वेदर द लोन विल बिकम एनपी और नॉट इफ द ग्रैंड फादर वॉज अ थीफ द सन विल ऑल्सो बी अ थीफ एंड द ग्रैंड सन विल ऑल्सो बी अ थीफ एंड यू ऑल नो दिस वेन द कस्टमर कम्स टू योर ब्रांच टू टेक द लोन यू कैन सी हिज फेस एंड टेल वेदर ही विल रिटर्न द मनी और नॉट This is what is known as risk management. Rest, everything is bakwas and garbage. Okay, my father was trained by the founder of Punjab and Sindh Bank, Doctor Indrajit Singh. So he told my father, my father was posted in the loan department. He told my father. दैट आदमी की शक्ल देख के लोन देने डोंट लुक एट हिज पी एंड एल स्टेटमेंट एंड बैलेंस शीट दीज ऑल कैन बी कुड बाई द सी एज उन्होंने मेरे फादर को एक क्वेश्चन पूछा था कि भाई जब शब्दी करते हो तो लड़की की फैमिली देखते हो ना उसका बैकग्राउंड चेक करते हो ना वेन यू बाय डॉग यू चेक द ब्रीड सिमिलरली प्लीज चेक द ब्रीड ऑफ द कस्टमर then decide whether you want to give a loan or not in reality this is the only risk management you can do that's all rest yeah, everything yeah. is nonsense hum log ko training mein bataya gaya tha customer characteristics aapko zarur dekhni chahiye loan dene ke liye baaki sab idhar udhar sir ab kya karoge agar upar se aapko political pressure aa jayega kya karoge आप मेरे को एक बात बताओ नीरव मोदी आपके आगे कुर्सी पे आके बैठ जाए ठीक है यू नो वेरी वेल दैट दिस इज गोइंग टू गो ऊपर से आपको फोन आ जाए फ्रॉम द मिनिस्ट्री व्हाट विल यू डू बोलो सर सर बैंक में यही तो हो रहा है ट्रांसफर के नाम पे और इन सब चीजों के नाम पे आपको धमका के लोन कराए जा रहे हैं जब इसके दैट इज ऑल दैट इज ऑल आई एम सिंग दैट इज ऑल आई एम सिंग If the system is made right, the banks will never fail. Next, so they said that additional two point five percent capital you will take. This is known as capital conservation buffer. And look here. Now you will see. Okay, so you will say, okay, this two point five percent money we should be in which form? We say common equity tier one, pure cash. either you increase your capital or if you are making profits do not distribute the money to the shareholders create more reserves so if you see practically the minimum capital is 11.5 practically but in the paper if question comes minimum capital is 9 plus 2.5 extra as capital conservation buffer is that clear now after that rbi said there will be one more buffer that is known as counter cyclical buffer madam priya just give me a second please
मैडम प्रिया दिस टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट इज एडिशनल दिस नाइन परसेंट इज डिफरेंट दिस टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट इज डिफरेंट एंड द क्वालिटी ऑफ दिस कैपिटल विल ऑल्सो बी कॉमन इक्विटी टायर वन so if you see practically the minimum capital that the banks have to keep now is 11.5 practically and if you see the common equity tier one is actually not 5.5 it is 8 this 2.5 is also common equity quality this 2.5 and this 5.5 are you getting me after that rbi said that basel said that we have to create counter cyclical buffer as of now not allowed by rbi but in the paper he can ask you this range so this is the range what does this range means what does this range mean this range means k this range means is a dekho what happens this is the economy ye ho gaya boom ye ho gaya recession or depression when the economy is in boom this is the time when the money is cheap okay you are taking you are giving very cheap loans like what has been happening from last 10 years when you are take giving away so much loans because the credit activity is very high economy is booming so at that point because you are giving more loans you have to have a higher capital higher risk higher risk is so you need a higher capital so rbi say or basel says that during these times your counter cyclical buffer should be 2.5% and when the economy goes into recession and depression this is the time when the loans will be very expensive two things will happen first either the bank will be in trouble at that point this 2.5 will help you or if you are still healthy at that point the economy is not healthy you will use this 2.5% to give money to the needy sectors so during the time of recession depression you will reduce it to zero again when the economy will go into recovery and boom again you will start making it again when it will go to recession depression again you will take it to zero is that clear or no इसमें सर फ्लक्चुएशन हो सकता है जीरो टू मतलब इसमें हो सकता है इसमें कोई हाँ हाँ रेंज है ना सर रेंज है ना जीरो टू टू पॉइंट फाइव दिस इज मिनिमम मैक्सिमम रेंजेस सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट व्हाट इज काउंटर साइक्लिकल बफर नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इन हिंदी और इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज इवन इफ ही यूज डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज इन द पेपर यू विल इजिली आइडेंटिफाई दैट ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट काउंटर साइक्लिकल बफर okay and this counter cyclical buffer range will be 0 to 2.5 is that clear so not allowed by rbi right now right now it is rbi says you don't have to maintain of course if you if you have if you are very healthy you can maintain but as of now rbi has not made it mandatory okay but over a period of time this will also be introduced <clears throat> now let me tell you something because this common equity this capital conservation buffer 2.5 you have to make this 2.5 is not a some some small value it is 2.5% of your rwa 
and your RW is not 100 rupees. It will be somewhere, let us say, 1 lakh crore. Like these values, so high values. So 2.5%, you cannot make overnight. So banks almost took 5 to 6 years to achieve this 2.5 figure. Problem kya thi? What is the quality of this 2.5 common equity tire one? Where will, what is common equity tire one? Your capital or your reserves or your profits? Profit honi re, reserve handy. Capital kaan se aayegi? So that was the reason every year banks used to go to the government for more capital infusion. That please put more capital into us. Now are you understanding what was happening behind the scenes? Achha. Now lately economy was not doing well. From where the government brings more money to infuse capital. So government wanted to sell the banks. <laughs> Now you are understanding the entire mathematics behind it. Okay. So this range. Then government said, Basel said that you also have to maintain leverage ratio. What is leverage ratio? Leverage ratio is your total capital divided by total assets. Leverage ratio is total capital divided by total assets. Not risky assets, total assets. Total capital divided by total assets. Okay, so for every bank, they have to keep a leverage ratio of 3.5. And for domestic systematically important banks that are SBI, ICICI, HDFC. and HDFC, for them it is 4%. Sir, last time is a question I delivered. क्या क्वेश्चन था सर बताओगे क्वेश्चन सर नोट किया हूं आपको मैं व्हाट्सएप कर दूंगा सर सर जितने भी क्वेश्चन है मैं सारे भेज दूं एक ही बार भेज दूं सर हां हां भेज दो चिंता नहीं करते सर क्वेश्चन था डोमेस्टिकली सिस्टमेटिकली इंपॉर्टेंट बैंक का लेवरेज रेशियो कितना होना चाहिए 4% now, <clears throat> what was the start date to implement Basel III in India? 1st April 2013. And we finally completed the implementation by October 1, 2021. Earlier, we had this deadline was 2016, March 31st. Then banks couldn't do it. They increased it to 17. Again couldn't do it. They increased it to 18. Again couldn't do it. They increased it to 19. Again couldn't do it. They increased it to 20. Then COVID again. <laughs> they increased to 21. Then finally on 1st October 2021, banks were able to completely apply these ratios. Okay. Okay. Policy, a policy uh incorporate karne mein sir itna samay lag raha hai matlab kehne ka matlab yahi hai na sir 13 se 21 tak policy nahi hai this is not policy basel jo basel basel norms na keh liye matlab sir nahi nahi it is not about the policy it is about the money okay. sir 2.5% of your risky assets it is a very big number and that too in form of common equity tire one that is either you increase the capital or your profits increase so that you can create the reserves. Profit hoi bhi rahe aapko. Kya karoge? Kaha se badaoge? This is the reason 
banks were not able to do it i request everybody please note it down तो सर आपने क्वेश्चन नहीं भेजा मुझे अभी तक सर एटी वन की से परसेंटेज नहीं लिखी हुई इस चार्ट में हाँ जी एटी वन की परसेंट नहीं लिखी हुई चार्ट में ऑटोमेटिकली हो गया ना मैम इफ दिस इज मिनिमम फाइव पॉइंट फाइव दिस कैन बी मैक्सिमम ओके सर सर काउंटर साइक्लिकल बफर में सर जो टू पॉइंट फाइव होता है सर वो रिसेशन के टाइम सर किसको लोन देने के लिए यूज होता है मैम या तो अपने आप को बचाने के लिए या फिर जो इकोनॉमी में नीडी सेक्टर्स हैं जहां लोन देना जरूरी है जैसे प्रायोरिटी सेंटर हो गया ठीक है ना सर तो उस उस टाइम पे देखो जब आपकी हालत खराब हो या इकोनॉमी में फंड नहीं है तो आप बैंक क्या करता है क्रेडिट टाइट कर देता है लोन देने कम कर देता है तो उस समय इकोनॉमी कैसे चलेगी तो उस समय
लिए ये काउंटर साइक्लिकल बफर या तो आपको बचा लेगा नहीं तो इकोनॉमी को बचा लेगा ओके सर थैंक यू सर एक क्वेश्चन थी इसमें लेवरेज रेशियो की जरूरत क्यों पड़ी बैंक में हाँ जी लेवरेज रेशियो हाँ जी लेवरेज रेशियो मतलब इस जगह पर सीन में कैसे आई है क्या कह रहे हो जैसे सर लेवरेज रेशियो ज्यादा लेवरेज में नहीं है देखो इधर देखो अगर लेवरेज रेशियो फोर परसेंट है से ज्यादा हो रही है तो यहां तो आप अपने एसेट कम करोगे या कैपिटल इंक्रीज करोगे ठीक है आप इसको याद कर लो भी ठीक ओके हैज एवरीबॉडी नोटेड इट डन सर ओके सर नाउ नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट लेट अस हैव अ ब्रेक फॉर फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ईट समथिंग हैव अ स्ट्रॉन्ग कप ऑफ फिल्टर कॉफी and we will start in 15 minutes now recording stopped kya keh rahe ho kitne baje se class hai sir 15 minutes sir aur aap ye laga lo 7 aur bill start at 9:15 abhi aap kitne chalegi sir सर घंटा डेढ़ डेढ़ घंटा तो करेंगे और डेढ़ दो घंटे तो करेंगे ना सर देखते हैं जहां पर जब आपका फ्यूज उड़ के आप वहीं रुक देंगे और तो जहां पे वो कहते हैं वो एमसीबी ट्रिप हो गया वी विल स्टॉप ओके ओके सर